Hi Conley Clan fam! Today I want to give you an update on Christian and also show you what the kids have been up to. Make sure to stick around until the end where we have some very special news. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Christian. I did take him to both of his doctor's appointments that he had. Uh, one of them was just on like a Zoom type doctor's appointment, uh, so online. And then the other one, I apologize, I completely forgot to take footage of that doctor's appointment. We were running a little bit late, and so I was completely focused on getting there. Uh, we also had to add in some labs uh, that we weren't expecting. And so, uh, I but I wanted to give you an update. So we had his GI appointment, and the GI doctor said that he thinks everything is okay. Christian is not losing any weight, he's still gaining weight. Um, so he told us to give him Carnation Instant Breakfast as an add-on to his three meals and snack uh, each day. So we have started doing that. Uh, I did see that he gained a pound in about two weeks um, from his doctor's appointment for his one-year check to his urology appointment we had, he had gained one pound. So that's really good um, and that's encouraging. So we did do labs just in case uh, we thought Possibly there was a maybe a thyroid problem. Jade has a thyroid problem, and so we thought maybe he had it as well. We got the labs back, they were all normal. So that is really good. So now his urology appointment, we took him in because he has hypospadias, and we have his surgery scheduled for August. Now she was really she was booked out that far, and so I I'm glad that we're getting this taken care of. I wish we could get it over with, but uh, he will be just a little bit older, so hopefully that will help with having him go under. In the meantime, we are just gonna have to wait that one out. We do have a GI follow-up. We have a weight check in a couple weeks, and we have a follow-up in person in about a month and a half. So I will keep you guys updated on how he's doing. The, the doctor thought that he looked good. He doesn't look like he's failure to thrive um, because he, he does weigh 19 pounds. He just for some reason um, was dropping on the charts, but his height and weight are both dropping. And so we will keep an eye on that, but the doctor still thought that he looked pretty good for his age. What is one of the Conley clan's favorite things to do? Dance party! Yeah! Jade, what did dad build? A chicken and ducky coop. A chicken and duck coop. And you're gonna give us the grand tour of the yes. 
Yes. Of the bird kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you ready to give us the tour? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. So this door right here <laughs> is the duck kingdom entrance. Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay, so show us through. <laughs> Here There's their pool. Yep, which they have not went in well a couple times, but it's harder for them to get out. And Dad rigged up a pump to it. Yep. And it goes to this hose, <laughs> <laughs> which then can water this yard right over here. And we never waste any water. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> yep. Yeah, Dad comes up with some good inventions. Yeah. Okay, and then over here. We have the four ducks. <laughs> oh, let's see. They've gotten so big. They have. Look at, look at how big they are. Mm -hmm. The yellow ones are starting to turn white. Yep. Yeah, they love to go into her. And so right now they're at the duck feeder mm -hmm. that Dad rigged up. Yep. <laughs> and it holds a lot of food, and then they never run out. Mm -hmm. Well, not for a while, anyways. Yeah. And then here's a water. <laughs> <laughs> Here's extra water for them. Yep, and then over here is their thing to climb up in their pen, which they have not figured out, so every time I have to put them in the pen. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I know the one duck has, what's it called, wobbly legs or wobbly feet or something? Yeah. It was born with a deformity, yep. and it definitely cannot walk up this. Yeah. But I'm assuming the other ones will probably be able to. Mm -hmm. uh, they just need to figure it out. Yeah. Okay, so there's their door, mm -hmm. and at night we can lock it. Mm -hmm. Like yep. this. Yep, so that way it keeps predators out. Yep. And we do know that we have some predators around here. Coyotes? We think they're coyotes. Mm hmm Yes. And so they are definitely loving being safe inside their house. Yeah. So here's another door it looks like. Yep. We need to pull the string. Yep. yep. Because otherwise there's no way. To get, yeah. Okay, so right here. Uh, come on out, Mommy. Okay, I'm coming. Uh-huh. So, uh... If it is closed and then I pull the string, this thing will lift up. Okay, so look at me and say that. So, um, if this is closed uh, and and I pull this string, yep. it will lift up and then this will open. You're right. It's <laughs> a good idea. Yep. And that was Uncle David's idea. Yeah. Okay, and here's the tube for their thing. Oh, that's where you put their food at? Mm hmm Okay. So then it slides down there. Okay. Oh, if I can get this thing off of it. It is sure. stuck tight on there, isn't it? Yeah. So what's this latch right here for? Oh, this thing is to open their thing so we can do things. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. We can add straw and clean it out. Yep. There's their heat lamp they've got. Mm -hmm. So let's take a little quick sneak peek in here. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but dirty. Okay, and then what's this little... Actually, why don't you show us how this goes up and it can hold it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this thing, yep. it's like for nothing, it seems like, right? Right. But really, you can go like that. And then it, and it holds it open. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yep, and then you can just put it back down. All right, and, and then what's this one? This one right here, you unhatch it, lock it, uh, and then you can see through in there. And then you can take a little peek in there, mm -hmm. peek a -rooney. Yep. Okay. And then the chickens would probably be able to sit on here. They probably could, you're right. Yeah. So, and then what's over here on the side? Oh, um, I thought it would be like, um, where we get the eggs. It is. But yes. So this is called a, uh... I don't know, a laying box or something like that. Yeah. But it is where the ducks will lay their mm -hmm. eggs and we can grab. Although I think ducks are kind of lazy about it. Yeah. And they have them wherever they're at. Yes. Now chickens actually lay them in the laying box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we have another one over here. Yep. Yes. And it is a twin, right? Mm -hmm. But smaller because this one has that wide open spot, yes. but then the other one has a uh, smaller because they're they're chickens, they're ducks. <laughs> right. We tried to put them together, but it did not work out, and the ducks are still afraid of the chickens. Yes. Mm -hmm. The chickens were charging them. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the same setup. Mm -hmm. We've got that, and it can be held open, and they've got their little area here. Mm -hmm. Now this area over here 
is just smaller. Yep. You can still stand in there though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But then they've got their little um, ramp. Okay, Mama, come in here and I want to show you something. What? Just come in. You're going to lock me in because I can't get out of this one. But you can. I'll show you. With a stick. Yes. I actually had to do it. <laughs> really? I, I did. I invented it. Did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to do it about, I don't know, three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, the best part of this whole thing is that Dad made an area where we can play with them. Yep. Yep. So let's look around here. Mm -hmm. There's a fence so they cannot get out. And then this thing, you just pull the string open. <clears throat> And then uh, uh, the rest of the fence, <laughs> then uh, we can just leave that open for them to go in whenever they want. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they don't really go in their pen when both gates are open. They go in the ducks. Because the ducks are scared of them, I, ha I try my best to keep them se separate. Like, and you are usually the one that helps out, you and Rosie, a mm -hmm. lot with the animals. Yeah. Yep, you're like the animal whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> right yep <laughs> you were our resident dog trainer yeah and now you're our bird person <laughs> <laughs> see look at how big these guys are getting oh there's luna hi luna she kind of likes people yeah. this one right here is comet mm -hmm. and this one right here is cinnamon mm -hmm. right there and then this one back here behind Luna is Lucky. I like to call Lucky a little Lucky. Little Lucky? Yep. Hi Luna. Hi Luna. You like to be petted a little bit, don't you? Hi. Oh, you like to peck my ring. She really <laughs> likes my ring. <laughs> she likes to be petted on her chest. We're home. Is everyone here? Today I'm going to talk about puberty. <laughs> Today we have to have a discussion. Yes, okay, be quiet. Everybody be quiet. I got this, Mom. Me, Jay. Just, I got this. Ready? Okay. Okay, so puberty, this is <laughs> this is how it's going to go, okay? Wait, wait, remember this is a family channel. Yes, this is a family channel. Um, I'll use key <laughs> to, to make sure only the teenager Oh my gosh. knows <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> Okay, can I see everybody? Yeah. Okay. We've got some news to share. Okay, what are you what are we gonna share? Do you know? Yes. What? I'm about Christmas the Dashing Day. That's what you think? What do you think? We're getting a new cake. <laughs> Jade? Hmm. I already know the answer to this. Yeah. What? Okay. It's getting a new kid. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you have any ideas? is getting a new okay. kid. Go and tell the people. Mom. Christian, what do you think? It's getting a new kid. Stop Rosie. Uh, so Dad already Stop. told me this. Elena. Getting a new kid. Getting a new poop. Oh. Everything. Getting a new poopsicle. Charlie! Yeah. What do you think? Mom's not going to tell We got Christian's Adoption Day! Yeah. Christian is the last kid to be adopted to I the Conley to clan. I want to go And guess when his adoption day is? In May! May 6th. Do you know what that is? Three weeks from today. So it's true, May 6th is Christian's 
adoption day. We're really excited. He is going to be our last adoption, which does make me a little sad, uh, but we are going to keep our foster care license open uh, just in case there happens to be a sibling that needs a place or if um, we happen to be able to take in more kids. We will for sure be able to do respite care, which is where um, the foster parents take care of other people's foster children while they, let's say, go on vacation and the kids maybe can't go or if they just need a break because there's a lot of behaviors so we are definitely going to do respite care we're leaving our foster care license open just in case we can get another placement um, but for now Christian is our very last adoption if you guys have not caught Isabella's special adoption day make sure you click here if you haven't already, click here to subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys next time. Bye!